I wanted to do something familiar on Let's Look at Software, the feature on this channel. Hello, hi, hola, handle and greeting. I'm not affiliated with any drawing aid software, but I draw. Here's a hasty five-point perspective done by pen. Here's an hour-long sketch on a tablet while I waited for an oil change. I did it freehand, but Infinite Painter offers a one-point perspective aid that I use to check my accuracy. It's not horrible. So one might think that perspective in 3D is easy. We can open Blender 2.81a, and with the camera selected, we can activate background images and add an image. Thinking perspective is easy when we press zero on the number pad and, and in the view tab, lock our camera to view and manipulate the grid in our 3D software to match the perspective of the image from the photograph. It's easier said than done, of course. As I said, I'm not affiliated with any drawing aid software. Blender users will remember Blam. It was retired November 2018 and became FSpy. FSpy works in all 3D softwares. It's an open source, still image, camera matching software. However, when you download and run FSpy as a standalone application, you can drag your picture in and it will give you all of these numbers to copy and paste into your 3D application of choice. Before you do that, you'll want to arrange the ones and the twos so that they are projecting across right angles to one another. These numbers will then translate to your 3D software. In this particular case, the clever observer may notice my z-axis is upside down. If your 3D software is Blender, as we had just opened up, you'll be happy to see there is an official FSpy importer add-on that sets those parameters with a click. Once you download and install the Blender add-on, you can access it with preferences, add-ons, and use the install feature in the add-ons to simply run the zip that you've downloaded. It's called FSpy Blender, not to be confused with the application download, which is just FSpy. As soon as it's installed, it's ready to use, and it's found beneath the import menu. Before I import something for you in this case, I would like to handle this inverted Z axis. FSpy works by having you describe where the vanishing point is, you may remember from my tablet drawing that there was a vanishing point up in the top right, and I sketched some lines to make all the waiting room chairs point to it, and then kind of validated my own work by using a drawing aid to tell me where, in fact, that vanishing point would have resolved with the things that I was drawing in different areas of the room. Well, you're the guide. And here, we've said the vanishing point axes are along the positive x, and the positive y. Here's the positive x illustrated, and here's the positive y illustrated. With Blender's default cube set up to be our example, you can see that the positive y axis indeed shoots up and to the right, but the positive x axis does not shoot up and to the left. That is the negative x axis that acts as our vanishing point in the top left. So if we go back to FSpy and change the vanishing point to negative x, our z-axis is restored vertically. Now since with the Blender add-on we can just press a button and import all these settings, it's worth a moment to check the settings. Right now the camera position is almost two Blender units below the origin. The origin in Blender, as with pretty much any 3D software, is at 000, where the 3D cursor is quite naturally. We normally don't construct things from below the plane or the grid. We do it from above. So one way to get this camera position z-axis into a positive number is to simply move. If just moving the origin of 3D space isn't enough for you, you can activate a 3D guide like the grid floor that you see in just about every 3D software. 
this will help you get a better understanding of where the camera is. And so it will translate for you the items in the properties of the image. Saving a project in FSpy simply means naming it and not worrying about the file extension. Once saved, FSpy can be closed and, inside Blender at least, you'll find your FSpy project ready to import. The interesting thing is it will create a new FSpy camera that matches the project. This is the default camera. You will no longer need Blender's default camera and zero on the number pad will send you right in to the FSpy camera. Remember earlier we looked inside the camera's data properties and we saw background images and we set it as a JPEG image. Well now it is an FSpy project and just like in FSpy here's origin down here putting our camera 1.45224 blender units above the grid floor. It's easy to say that the FSpy website makes the basics really easy to understand of camera matching and all of the different tips and tricks that they suggest you use and the tutorial is very basic and easy to follow and included as one of the FSpy projects when you download the software. If you use a different software and click on source code, you can find from Stuffomatic the FSpy GitHub page and participate to help port it to Maya or 3D Studio Max. Blender users rejoice. Here it is. And now anything we create is aligned to the perspective that we dictated from the image we used in FSpy. At least it's as well it's as well matched as your perspective lines were. A quick note, some of these images look better when they're in front of the model. Another quick note, if we were to open this and try to change it, it would appear to be unopenable. By clicking on the project file, it merely opened the application. But by dragging the project file into the application it opened, we can see the project file and then make little changes as we see fit like perhaps I'm interested in the corners matching up right here and then when I press file and save I have a brand new FSpy project that can be refreshed without leaving the scene. The origin jumped over to that corner immediately. One word of caution there are times in another project where my add images stacked up of the project I was working on again and again and again. However, that was when I was using Blender 2.8. This is Blender 2.81 and also if you're still using Blender 2.79, good news. There is support for Blender versions older than 2.8. If you're using an older Blender version, download version 1.0.2. One final note for Blender users, making a piece of geometry match the image that you're using imported from FSpy will give you happy access to that projection method that everybody's doing these days. In object mode, the modifier UV project benefits from more subdivisions. Simple, top of the stack, choose the FSpy project. When a material is put onto the object that you've modeled that matches the FSpy project, choose the image. If you choose the FSpy project as an image, even more subdivisions We'll tighten it up only so much. What you'll have to do is adjust the aspect ratio to match the aspect ratio of the image that you're using. When you depart FSpy's camera view, you will have projected whatever it is, like this guy who should consider eating somewhere else. While that's the essence of everything FSpy, 
I'll show you something that I've been working on, which is how I know more about FSPY. I took a photograph when I was at brunch in Germany, and I really liked where I was. I used that image to create 3D models that I will soon be giving away. So keep an eye out on this channel for a class that I'm giving on creating materials that match real-world pictures I'd seen. When you're using viewport shading solid, you may not immediately see the effect of your FSPY project. So I would recommend you take a look at the settings that I have here and use that in your project. When you switch your viewport shading to material preview, the FSPY project will begin to shine through. And remember, of course, will it be behind your model or in front of your model? Since this picture was taken with a cell phone camera, I am having a little difficult time at the edges matching some of the heavy distortion that my cell phone camera produced. But generally speaking, a strong camera with a good sensor that's more like a DSLR will produce a good perspective that is clean and easy to read with less distortion at the edges, and you should find FSPY pretty convenient in your workflow. That's all I got. Every interaction you do with me on the internet makes me feel good. And thanks for watching.